Shut up and sit down. Hello folks, Colin here, Festa 67's workshop. Welcome to issue 36 of Build the Batmobile from the classic 1966 TV series Batman. And this is brought to you by the wonderful folks down at Fan Home. Now if you want to grab this and build along with me, head over to the link here. That'll take you to the website. Bink, where you can take out a subscription for this iconic one eighth scale model and build along with me. Let's have a quick flip through the magazine. There's some background on the TV show there. You've then got great Batman comics. This one's about the Riddler. Bit of a mischief, we need a Riddler. This was the year by year Batman from 1970 when I first started getting the comics. Learning to read by reading Batman. Yeah. Uh, this was uh, some of the artwork back in the day. And I just remember this was so distinctive. Some more there, Batman year by year. This is the car parts we've got. We're going to assemble the drive shaft to connect the gearbox and rear axle together, folks. So you've got the halves of the drive shaft, the universal joints, and obviously the centre support bearing. And that is all in this little packet here, okay? So let's put that to the back there for the moment. Very simple step-by-step -step instructions there on how to put the UJs together. Then obviously inserting this into the centre bearing, putting the other half together. And then at the end, we'll be laying that along the frame of our Batmobiles. And this is what you'll end up with at the end of today's issue, folks. So we'll flick back and we'll start laying all these parts out and doing a bit of assembly for you. Right, folks. We're going to be putting in some AP screws. So let's just check my screwdriver blade. Here's the right one. Which it is. So we'll put a bit of oil on there. And we're going to be building our first universal joint. So we'll grab that. Hold that in situ with our left hand. And we want to knock a screw through this little bracket into the universal joint in the middle. A little bit fiddly, but if you just pinch it between your fingers, get the first screw in a couple of turns and then just spin it and then grab your second screw. I do it this way for a reason, so you don't over tighten one side. And then do the same with this one. Just line them up and then feed the screw in place. And the oil, any excess oil, is going to go in the joint itself. And it just helps lubricate it. Now notice I'm turning this round and doing a couple of turns each side. Just so that the screw head will start touching the bracket. And then just keep rotating it around until you've got a nice equal distance. The screw head then itself is just resting against the side of this case in here but it's not pinching the actual joint in the middle. It can still turn freely. That's what we want, okay? We then want to connect the other side, this piece, to the other side of the UJ we've just done and do the same process. And then we can join these together. Just like that. So try and hold that in place and start feeding that screw through the bracket which for me is a bit of a challenge because I do have a tremor so apologies if I hold things very awkwardly but I have to I'm afraid so I'll just grab that let it do its thing there you go grab another one Just like so, and then do the same on that side. There you go. We got there. And what you want it to do is move freely without binding. So you'll see me back it off a few times and just spin things around 
that's so that I know the joint has got the freedom to move as it needs to, okay? So no matter what angle you lay that at, that'll spin freely, see? That's what you want. Don't want it binding anywhere. And then I can go around and just check my distances, which I'm happy with, okay? So I'm just going a little bit further that way with that side. And then just check that the joint spins. Easy, isn't it? So we now want to bring in our center bearing, which is here. And this part, the shorter stub, is what goes through this bearing. Just like that. Okay? Remember that. We then want to grab the halves of this one. And they'll then go over this little tab poking out like so. So grab them. And these two halves end up forming the same shape the other end. See it? But it pinches that in place and it, it retains this. Stops it flapping around like a flappy thing. So we'll grab a pair of AP screws and get them in place. And now I can hold it. Like that. There you go. Screw that all the way in now on that side because I want it to pinch and hold that together. Now we can get the other screw. Pop that in and screw the other end together now. And that will form our little U shape that is going to go in the other end of the UJ, okay? So let's just spin that so that the screw mount is visible. Like so. And then we can hone that fully in. Just like so. Like that. And that's what you're going to end up with now. Then we can start inserting this universal joint in. So we want two more. AP screws. Let's grab the first one. Get that in. And then we can do the same as what we've been doing. So make sure you're putting this universal joint on the correct end, folks. So you want the end with the screw. Okay. Easiest way of remembering. And then this universal joint will tuck in there quite nicely and do its thing. Let's try and orientate that so that I can hold the two whilst I get the screwdriver in situ. There you go. I'll pinch my finger together then. Stop me from twitching and shaking and pulling it apart. There you go. And then I can just screw that together now. You'll probably be able to do it a lot easier than me, I'm afraid. There you go. And put that in there. Line that up. So I'm happy with all of those. Now we can lay this into our frame, folks, okay? So it's going to go that way with the screwed shaft facing the gearbox so it's going to go like that that's rear rear axle end that's gearbox end orientate that so that that is the gearbox one we've got two exposed ends going in there like so and then this is going to go along and screw into the floor section once that goes in two screws and put the gearbox end in, shall we? Like that. And let that do its thing. And that's me just making sure the joint moves. And to save me having to turn the chassis around. Just turn the shaft round. All you've got to do, folks. There you go. And that'll line your other screw all up. So you keep moving the chassis, folks. Just use the shaft to its advantage. Just use that to do the turny-turny.
these in it. There you go. Same this side. Yeah, that works. I'm happy with that. Let's make sure that lays down. Which it does. So I'm going to back that off just a bit. That side. There you go. Happy. Uh. And then we want to join that to the rear axle now, folks. Let's just turn that and then expose the ends of the UJ for that side. Lay that over the joint and then turn the UJ so that it goes under these me an exposed screw hole. So let's quickly grab that, lock one of them in, and then we'll line that up. Send that in place like that. Right. And turn that round to expose the other screw. And that is in situ. That happy in it. There's the UJ doing its thing there. And there's it doing its thing there as well with the gearbox. I'm so happy with that. Now I'll put a bit of oil in there. Let that do its thing. Now then I'll work its way into that end of that joint where the plastic goes in here. And that will spin all of that nice and free. Get in, my son. That's what you're going to end up with today on your Batmobile. You've got your universal joint all together. Spare screw then. Universal joint all together. And yeah. You've got your drive shafts all in place from the gearbox to the rear axle. It's beginning to take shape, folks, isn't it? Look at that. So if you want to grab this and build along with me, head over to this link here. That takes you to the Fan Home website. Pop, where you can take out a subscription for this beautiful 1.8 scale model. To help me out, folks, you just click the little fester in the corner and subscribe to me YouTube channel. It's free. And it really helps me out massively, folks, okay? Whilst you're there, just ring the bell and select all. And then that way you'll get notified of any future content that comes up on the channel, okay? So until then, stay safe and well. Thanks for coming in and keeping me company. See you next time. Bye-bye.